we are Stephen and Jill. Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Ozark Mountains. Yeah. We are technically in the Ozarks here in Eureka Springs. Today, Jill and I talk about the value of selling land with homemade signs, you know, the kind you put in your yard, and neighbor letters. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the online community, landinvestors.com. It's free. And I hope you know, we have a full-blown commercial printing company that Jill and I own uh, exclusively called Offers to Owners, the number two, ownersthat.com. All we do is send out blind offers for people uh, who, are, who are buying real estate. Whether you're a member or not, go to Offers, the number two, owners.com and uh, check it all out we process between six or seven hundred thousand units uh, a month to maybe 1.2 million a month Don't it works by the way it also has other products there if you need help with getting the data downloading the data scrubbing the data all of that there's full service options there too yep. that we can really help you out with exactly so back to the question Thomas wrote so I know Jack and Jill say not to use your home address because those change uh, I've been to this address for 28 years and I don't have any plans to move is there any reason I can't use it I got one yeah you choose life yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to have all these offers going out there and have everyone know where you live look up what your house is worth, you know, that kind of a thing. I don't think that's the right. So, so yesterday I said there's a theme to this week's questions, mm -hmm. and the theme is New please go through the uh, Land Academy 3.0. Jill and I did not slap this program together <laughs> and say, yeah, you know, I don't know, should you use your home address or should you go get a, a you know, a mailboxes, et cetera, type address. Right. Um, I'm going to choose a letter. That's not uh, what, uh, you know, We're years, of you. I spent years using my home address and it's real, all bad. Mm. And, and then I realized I should get or use a, a box that I've had, had for it during the same time instead. And it made my life a lot more sane. So while we don't explain all the reasons why we uh, ask you to do stuff in these education programs, just kind of please trust us because we, we know what we're doing. <laughs> Is no, it? and I get it. You know, it's funny, Thomas, because we all know Warren Buffett still lives in the same house he lived in back in the fill-in-the-blank day. So, um... Does he, though? Good My understanding is he does. Well, this is true. Can you imagine if he went home there every day? Rumor has it. Here's what I'd like. Rumor has it. His assistant every morning or every night at whatever makes sure he has his two dollars and eighty nine cents. You know the story, right? Yeah, and I don't. I just think this is all marketing for the McDonald's drive through yeah. that he gets. Yeah. And oh, you don't. First buy of all, it. a guy that age eating all that McDonald's is bad. That's well, a bad there idea. is that. That's true. So yeah, does he though? And a well, multi billionaire like that should have a few bucks in his pocket. He and a few houses. <laughs> So, no, I'm sorry. I don't buy it for one second. I, I think the publicity in, That's the, in the media, just the media, you know, what if uh, the other guy, then more. You're a little not, pessimistic today. <laughs> You're a little pissy look, today. I'm not pissy. I just know that. I know if people know, know where you are. We, we have a tiny little, silly little cult-like show called Land Academy with very, you know, in the scheme of things, it's, it's 20 mi people. microscopic. And believe me, <laughs> stuff, we run into people and I don't think it's that much of an accident. So. I can't imagine somebody with that kind of notoriety saying, oh, yeah, here's my address. And, uh, you know. Come I, on by. Every, uh, yeah. At well, 630. Mary, used to have people 630, come to I get house. my 289. And I go to the McDonald's th number 37654. And uh, I'll see ya. <laughs> I just don't think that's, that happens. All right. <laughs> well, I drank that Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let me save this here though no you know and it's just you know what thomas though the big pitch back to the question 
just in case you tick somebody off. What if you don't mean to tick somebody off or somebody just, or, or maybe they want to just scope you out. I don't know. You're making a lot of money. It's just, just to protect yourself. Just have a, and who knows? Yeah. You've lived there for 28 years. You bought it when you were 21. Let's just say. Or and, inherited it. Right. Um, but, Congratulations, by the way. That's great. Right. Things do, things do change. Hey, what if you start making a lot of money and you do want to move? You know, now you got to do, you can't, you, you have no options. You are locking yourself into that address because if you want to move, you want to take some time, even if you take some, what if you start traveling, by the way, you're going to have somebody have to go get your mail, package it up and send it to you. But if you have a, a regular post office box, they can just easily take care of it, open it, scan it for you, you know, forward it wherever you want to be. It just makes your life so much easier too. Thank Boy, you. I agree with Joe. Thank you. Today's topic is the value of selling land with homemade signs and neighbor letters. This is why you're listening. So it's funny. It's in, um, we have done this the last time I did this. Well, we've done it many times. I don't know about the last time, but one that, one that sticks out the most to me was with the house one we were doing, we were flipping a house, the house Academy way. And which is put a sign in the ground that says investor special, not with a price on it. Cause I'm going to change the price by the way. And I want them to inquire about the price, just investor special, like home Depot nailed to a piece of wood and nailed and, you know, stuck in the ground and then with a phone number and watch what happens. Mm -hmm. And then the day we had a open house for it, I tied balloons to the sign and that got attraction too. So it was wonderful. You, I know you have a lot to say you want to jump in yeah i really think that this should be part of your regular uh scenario i also think that in the back of your head you're going to buy better property if you think about well how many cars go drive by this mm. this piece of property uh every day that's good or every week and if, you, if your answer is well 12 cars go by there every year i'm not so sure you should be buying the property anyway so it's good you should be looking at and then maybe some properties we look at especially during the thursday call when we do uh, with our members do the would you do the steel call a lot of property has two it's on, on a corner and so it's got traffic up from coming from both directions or it's near or adjacent to a church. So you know every Sunday there's tons of traffic or it's on a way out of a subdivision to a Walmart or on and on and on. So traffic patterns and uh, car uh, numbers, you know, traffic numbers. Speed count, or what's the traffic count? Traffic count numbers are uh, very easy to find so on the internet. Speed trap. And if you've got five or, you know, if you've got 500, 600, um, uh, sometimes it's an hour. If you had 500 cars a day, down a county road taking a look at that sign with a phone number on it and wondering and they live close by you're going to sell that property pretty fast especially if they also got a letter in the mail that says hey hey neighbor i just bought this piece of property i'm in the business of buying and selling i'm not going to let the whole market know about it for uh, you know at least another month so if you want for di first dibs at it um, then my price is this give me a call you're going to sell some property i i think you should roll it into how you buy real estate and then make it mechanical about every, it's a process that you do you do that before you list it with uh, or while you're listing it with the MLS with an agent a real estate agent. You know, it just made me think about this. I don't I have not yet had those conversations, but I should like I believe a lot of the people that I list properties with don't go out and put signs in the ground. And I'm thinking I need to roll that into my conversation like, hey. When you go take a look at it, why don't you put a stick in the ground with your phone number on yeah. it? I bet they're not even thinking of that. No, I know they're not. Uh-uh. Not they just think, let's get some pictures, let's write something up and put on the MLS, and I'm going to sit back and wait for my phone to ring. It's not my property. They innately, <laughs> she's talking about real estate agents, uh -huh. they innately... Uh, That's what they do. Especially at a time like this, because we, we're coming off of, and I think probably not by now, full-blown have come off of a whole real estate cycle, and so they're, they're mentally still in you know in a mode where well i'm going to list it on the mls if it's rationally priced it's going to sell the same day mm -hmm. or the same week or the same month and we're just not in that situation anymore i read a statistic and we can uh, kind of end it on this unless you have something else to say yeah. i read a statistic a while ago and i believe it that 50 percent of the real estate that's sold in the country mm, i know that one has is sold to people who live or work within a mile away of that 
uh, property. Right. And so you want to reach those people. And it's crazy inexpensive to do it. How much is a sign at Home Depot? Nothing. And you've got somebody going out there to take pictures anyway or drone shots. They can pop a couple signs in real, really easily. That's how you do it. And then neighbor letters, let's say, I don't know, let's say in a, on a stretch, there's two, Spend maybe 100 bucks, 500, big... maybe two or 300 people that live within a mile. Yeah, it's going to spend 100 or $150 for a couple to send bucks, a whole mailer. For under $500, here's your whole marketing budget. Follow me here. For under $500, I could probably get a healthy amount of neighbor letters out, a photographer out there taking drone shots and putting a sign in the ground. Yep. How's that for your marketing budget per property? And it could be a, I'm hoping this is a buy for 30, sell for 70. Hey, by the way, I don't, I'm unaware of any ethical reason why you would not do this or legal reason why you would yeah. not do it while it's under contract when you're buying it. Or just make sure the seller knows. Or the day that you close and you own it and it's recorded, mm -hmm. then, uh, all you have to do is have a conversation with the seller. I would have no trouble with that. Hey, seller, um, escrow is going to close on Tuesday. Um, uh, today is Friday. This weekend, I'm going to have a photographer out in the area. So just so you know, I don't want any surprises. And to scare you, I'm going to have him put a sign in the ground with my phone number on it. Oh, yeah, knock yourself out. You know, they don't live there anyway, so yeah. they don't care. So then, then they're the only one that would complain. So you're, yep. you, you just covered yourself. So you are good. Think. Happy you could join us today. Five days a week, you can find us here on the Land Academy Show. So now the episode of the Land Academy Show is called How to Make a Million Bucks a Year. That's the career path uh, number five. This is the fifth career path. That's their number one request. Why did you change the title of my show? What was it? What was the title? Oh, man. My show was title was going to be then what is the number one request for career path number five? Then everybody's going to want to listen. Oh, and that's it. Yeah, that's oh. okay. I'll help you. Yeah. But you know what? How about this? There are actually two topics. I'm going to save this right now. There really were two things that everybody wanted to know. One of them is the million dollars a year. There's one more that everybody wanted to talk about. And that I will save for tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. That's funny. It's all good. Hey, thanks for tuning in. By the way. Jack and I are very aware that not everyone has a hundred grand or give or take lying around to fund your own deals. So don't worry about it. Every week we and many of our members are funding deals for other people. So if you want to find out more, go check out land. Is it land fund? There we go. Land funding, <laughs> landfunding.com or uh, send a note to support at landacademy.com for some more information and my team will will make sure you get to the right place. We, we are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information or, and inspiration to buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 